x01 and then metric and metric okay metric is 21 and ad is the same and the time is 36 ago and then in r4 and in r4 4 quad 5 slash 32 we have this information in rib okay next up is in r4 next up is 10 4 5 5 10 4 5 5 outgoing interface is ethernet 0 1 and then metric here is the metric okay copy here metric is 11 ad is the same and the time is 40 second and then finally in r5 in r5 we have a record for 555 here and you know that rib okay it next stop directly connected i mentioned it directly connected for example and then outgoing interface is loopback zero lp zero and then we don't have metric because it's connected or maybe you want to use metric zero ad is zero because it's connected okay and we don't have time these are informations in the rib of all routers about 5555-32 and this is the first things that i need to talk about mpls and you know that all of this information is in the control plane first table this is the first table and this table now is complete for all of the rotors the next table is the fib that is that resides in the data plane i copy all of this information from control plane for fib and paste it here r1 in the fib does and uh, and have information about these networks you know that we can find this information with this command show ipsef 5555 255 255 255 255 i copy this command in all of the routers copy and then copy and then copy and then copy and finally in r5 okay you know that in fib we only have useful information of rib for forwarding okay i explain it in the previous video fib what is the useful information for routing next stop and outgoing interface because of that we don't have this information metric administrative distance and time in the fib i remove all of them okay this is the fib in normal ip routing but when you use mpls a new things is happening in the fib in the fib you see a label i want to talk about this label because of that for now i don't write the label only label okay this is the label and the label here we will complete this label soon and here and here but what is the label i don't know and here okay you can see it only see it look at here in r1 we have a label in r2 we have a label this is new and this is because of mpls and r3 okay let's continue and after understanding this label i will write these labels here now we have fib without label this is the fib same as the time that we didn't configure mpls but now you know that we configured mpls 
What is the result? What is the result, for example, for these networks, Quad 5, Slash 20, Slash 32? Okay, let's get started with MPLS and the result of, result of enabling MPLS on this scenario. When you enabling MPLS in a router or in the, on the interfaces of the router, the router choose a label, a arbitrary, an arbitrary label for all of its networks in its routing table. For example, you know that in R5, now we have routing entry for all of the networks available in this scenario. For example, in R5, we have a routing entry for quad 5 slash 32 for this network, this network, this networks, and this networks. In R5, we have five network or five routing entry because in our networks, we enabled OSPF and with OSPF R5 learn these routes and two of this book uh, and the, the routes of connected also is available in the routing table. Okay, you know this. Let's check R5 routing table, show IP route. We have some routes from connected and some routes from OSPF. Very good. Okay. When you enabling MPLS on interfaces of router automatically without doing anything, any configuration of you from you, a label is chosen for every interface, every networks that is available in the routing table of that routers. For example, in R5, a label is chosen for this network and another label for this network, and another label for this network and other networks. For example, in R5, we have a label for Quad5. It's arbitrary, and it's in the range of the configured MPLS range. We configured in R5 MPLS label range 500 to 599. You remembered it, you remember it, okay? Because of that, Every router choose a label and reside it in the LIB. LIB is a repository for labels. Okay. In LIB, we have labels for all of the networks. For example, in the LIB of R1, we have a label for every routes that R1 has in its routing table okay for example one of the networks is quad 5 in lib for quad 5 we have labels one of that labels is chosen with r1 32 the label that r1 is choose is we can check it how we can check it we can check the LIB, we can see the LIB, show, show MPLS, LDP, what is the LDP? We will talk about this, show MPLS, LDP binding, this is the comment that gives us the visibility of LIB, okay, here, show MPLS, LDP binding, binding of labels to Roots and routing table or RIV show IP root. Okay, let's check it. But we want to check show MPLS LD binding only for one network quad 5 255255255255. Let's check it in all of the routers first in R1 and second in R2 and then R3 and R4 and R5. Okay. In R1, you can see a entry, an entry for these networks. You can see lib or LIB entry for quad 5 slash 32. Local binding is the label, local binding label is the label that R1 
is 